Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line and I'm back this week to film another So The Trend. So this week, this time, even though it's very cold and re actually it's really cold, I'm actually going to go into the high street and look at all the spring trends and then report back the best patterns for you. So I am going to head into all of the high street shops, have a look around and report back. So first stop, I'm outside Topshop, so I'm going to go in there first and then head to all the others. about to head into and other stories you can see the window there um, there's loads of amazing stuff I've just sort of had a peek in and lots of embroidery lots of 70 shapes and yeah I, I've already I found some patterns already I've got them in my head I'm now outside Liberty and as well as looking in the high street I like to go look at the more expensive shops so I'm going to go and have a look around there. I don't think I can take my camera in so I am just going to, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. Hi gang, so I have got back from the high street, I've had a cup of tea. I have gone through the fold line site and looked for patterns to go with all the trends that I saw in the shops. So I'll just give you a quick overview of the sort of key trends for spring. There's a sort of, there's a the 90s is still happening. And for those of us who lived through round one, um, round two is st still haunting. <laughs> The, the, so there's, I guess it's like quite grungy, um, lots of sort of oversized t-shirts, lots of denim, bomber jackets, that sort of thing. Um, so there's that one side and then the other side is a sort of still a bit of a 70s, there's definitely a 70s feel with a bit of 60s mixed in. Um, quite sort of... Um, quite sort of structured dresses but then with sort of delicate frills and that sort of jazz um, yeah it's really nice actually to see some summery stuff coming in because the weather over here is starting to get a little bit warmer the sun's coming out we feel I feel like spring is is around the corner so I am going to get cracking because I've got seven looks and I'm going to talk you through each patterns that I found to go with the looks. So first up we have got um, a jumpsuit. So quite, I saw these everywhere, everywhere. I think these might replace the um, summer sort of wedding posh, posh event sort of dress. Um, they look like a dress but they're actually a clock dress. Very simple shape, high necked and these were in loads of prints also in planes, I saw them everywhere, so I think this is a good sort of, good sign that it's a popular type of trend. So I found the perfect pattern, and it is also a pattern that I have made, it is the Vogue 9075. So if you haven't made this pattern, and you like a colour, you need this pattern in your life. I wore it as a bridesmaid dress last year, and I love it. I have also made it up in another really bright garish print, and yeah, I had to, it did take a lot of fitting, but once I got it nailed, yeah, I'm pretty, was really pleased with it. So the other one that I have chosen, so I thought some people might find the idea of having a full on jumpsuit a bit too much. So I chose the Mimosa Colottes from Name Clothing. As well as having these sort of jumpsuits, I also saw lots and lots of sort of cropped baggy-ish sort of jumpers on the high street, jumpers, collots on the high street. So I think this, if you didn't want to go full throttle, these would be a good compromise. And having got a pair of clots, they are the perfect thing to wear to a meeting or when you need to look smart and you're actually wearing secret trousers, which I love. So next up is, let's just call it the, the statement sleeve. Um, everywhere, everything had a sleeve that had something going on. Um, I've just shown you an overview of a sort of selection of them, but there were loads of different types, massive sleeves, frilly sleeves, pleated sleeves, um, 
So I found one really, really great pattern. Um, it's from McCall's, it's 7542. I should also say guys, that I'm going to put a link down below to a blog post with all of all of these patterns on because you're never going to remember all the names and all the numbers and yeah, so you can just click the link below and it will take you to the blog post and you can have a proper look. Um, so this pattern is fantastic because it comes with five sleeve options, yep. So in terms, it's fantastic value for money really. Um, and lots of different options. So there's the picture I'm showing you has got pleats. There's a flared option. There's a wrap option. There's loads and loads of different things. There's one that kind of goes like, is really full on. Looks like a, like a flamenco sleeve. Um, but I thought this was fantastic in terms of value for money. It means that you could just buy one pattern and make loads of different things and top up your wardrobe. So I thought that was a good pattern. The other one was the Dove blouse from Megan Nielsen. So this is a really nice sort of blouse top. It comes with different sleeve options as well, so you don't have to go, the picture that I'm showing you has got the most like full on flared sleeve, but if you wanted to go something a little less full on, there is another option to make it slightly less kind of, I don't know, flared. That's definitely the right word. So yeah, I thought this was a nice option and a, like a quite simple blouse and it shouldn't take you too long to make, which is always, always a bonus. Up next, so, I mean, this is not not sort of, shirts and blouses were everywhere and I know that isn't really a kind of edgy out there trend, but every shop had either, actually both, most of them had a sort of floaty blouse made in a drapey fabric and then a more structured oversized boyfriend type shirt that a longer shirt so these were everywhere and I thought these were really great for topping up your wardrobe a slightly more involved make because you know a shirt is a little bit more tricky than a normal top but I think these are the sort of if you make this and get the pattern perfect for you you'll be making this every year because they're such, you know, a shirt is such a classic shape and they'll never go out of fashion. So the two patterns that I've picked for you guys, I picked the oversized shirt from the Maker's Atelier, which is the first one. And this is your boyfriend, your classic boyfriend sort of shirt. It comes down longer. It looks like it just stops like above the knee. Um, really nice shape. I, I, I've heard great things about her pattern. So everyone who makes them says they love them and I really like this shape and I think it could be a wardrobe staple for you guys. The next one is um, it's called the Shirt with Three Collars from Louis Antoinette and it's a French pattern company and I really liked, I picked this because I like the idea that you get three different collars with a shirt. I was sold on that. Um, interesting shape collars again you're getting value for money because you're getting three shirts for the price of one in that way and yeah it's a fairly standard shirt but i thought you could make this in a really lovely sort of drapey fabric and you'd get that sort of beautiful sort of you could do it in like a 70s type fabric and then you're ticking all the all the boxes on that front so yeah those are my two patterns for your shirts up next so i think our sort of 90s grunge moment is here and this these sort of anoraks I, I again saw everywhere in loads of different colors so lots of I thought most of them would be in a sort of you know that sort of sludgy green that they tend to come in but they weren't there in lots of pastel colors as well for spring and in the UK the spring is one cold and two very rainy. So I think if you wanted to make an anorak, I think it would be a good, a good investment for your wardrobe. So I have chosen the Kelly anorak from Closet Case Patterns and I love her patterns. I think she is nailing it. If you're looking at that and thinking, oh, I don't know, it's quite an involved project and I'm not sure I'm ready for it, she does the most fantastic sew alongs and I think if you feel like you want to take your sewing to the next level she's the person to go with because she does great sew alongs and your sort of hand is held the entire way through which is great so definitely worth checking out there. Up next, so skirts. 
lots and lots of skirts on the high street which is nice because actually last summer there weren't that many and it was mainly dresses and I saw I guess the sort of core trend that I saw they were sort of pencil they were pencil shaped skirts um, quite a lot of them came down at sort of mid calf so midi length um, which I kind of prefer especially in when it's a little, that little bit colder you get a little bit extra leg coverage but most of them had splits up the front so there were two sort of bandings you can see the more structured one from Ted Baker which is definitely like a much smarter version but also the denim one from Topshop which is like a denim skirt but a long version but yeah the split up the front seemed to be quite a key feature on the skirts so the two patterns that I found for you the first one is called the Berlin skirt and this is from Orijuice and they're a French pattern company. I have just bought and made this skirt and it is amazing. Um, it did take quite a lot of fitting, I will say that, but it was all worth it in the end. Um, it's got really interesting pocket details and pleats that go into the pocket. In terms of make, it's, really, it's a really interesting make and the instructions were fantastic. Um, really, really fantastic actually, I was really impressed. So I would highly recommend that. The next one I have got is the Ada skirt from Wear Lemonade um, and this was literally released a couple of days ago so it's very hot hot off the press. Um, I like that it's got buttons down the front, it's a pencil shape, it's also got a tie around the waist um, and I think that this could be something that could made in loads of different fabrics and look completely different. You, I mean it would look beautiful in a sort of suiting but it would also look amazing in a denim so I think it's quite a versatile pattern and something that you could make lots of different things to top up your wardrobe in different ways. So yeah, I think that's a great one. So next up we have got um, the cold shoulder trend, as I'm going to call it. Um, loads of these on the high street again. Look everywhere, every shop has, has one of these tops um, with your shoulder out. And I think it's quite actually quite a nice sort of you're showing a little bit of flesh but you're not showing any flesh at the same time um, and I think it's quite a nice sort of t like look to take from your work to going out in the evening. So the two patterns that I've got, um, the first one is McCall's 7510 which is as you'll see it's got the stage one sleeve and um, it also has the shoulder detail, quite a simple make and I think this could be a nice sort of wardrobe top up. Um, yeah, I really like this pattern. I thought it was good and it sort of ticked all the boxes in terms of matching the stuff on the high street. The other pattern that I chose is the Chloe dress and top from Lily Sage and Co. And I think this might be definitely a pattern worth investing in because you get a top and a dress. The dress is also completely on trend, that sort of length and look. Um, I really like the sleeve on it that it's a bit looser and she's made it in this beautiful drapey fabric and I think you know this could if you made it could see you right through summer so yeah definitely worth checking out and I really liked the look of this one so I actually might buy this one <laughs> um, last but not least um, we have got the so this is quite a simple wardrobe topper upper there, but there were loads and loads of camis, very simple camis, ones in with prints, planes, leather, which would be quite a look, and even and velvet as well. So I think if you wanted to, this would be a good, good sort of pattern to go with. So the two options that I have got for you, I've got the Ogden cami from True Bias, which I'm sure a lot of you have made. It was a very popular pattern. Um, very simple cami top, no darts, um, definitely worth making a twirl with this but I think once you've got the fit on this perfect, you, I mean they can't, a couple of hours max to make from start to finish so a really nice speedy make. Um, yeah and everyone has raved about it so far so I think you know that's a bit of a no brainer that one. The next one I've got and my last one is the Louise top from Le Republic de Chiffon. So I really like the neckline on this, um, it's a silk cami, it's a cami top but it's just got a little bit more going on with the collar, de well the neckline sort of detail and I think you could also colour block this and there's lots of fun things that you could do to really make it your own. So, whew, 
I feel like I charged through that. I didn't want to make this video too long. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget I will put a blog, a link to a blog post down there so you can go and have a look. And we will be back with another video soon. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, have a lovely weekend sewing. Bye!